Hi, it's your computer friend Connie here. Welcome to your mini lesson on OneDrive. Um, and actually this one mini lesson is on how to work from home remotely. There's gonna be three lessons involved in this series. The first one I'm gonna to talk to you about is OneDrive, and then the next lesson is gonna be about SharePoint, and, and there'll be also a lesson about Teams, and uh, I'll probably throw one note in there somewhere as well. So today's lesson is quick little lesson on OneDrive and what to expect from that so that you can work from home easily and have your files safely with you. So I just have us on the screen here that says welcome to OneDrive because I just created a free account. I, I do have a Microsoft Office 365 so that account is already set up for my business and if you have the same then please use your Office 365 account to get to OneDrive. Um, I'm just showing what it would look like if you went on to the, go on to your internet browser and then just Google Microsoft Office OneDrive and then there'll be a place where you can say free and you click on that free button, give it an email and they have a couple of questions for you there and then you'll get to this point where it says welcome to OneDrive. So I wanted you to see this welcome screen so this is where you could start with me. If you already have Office 365, please just go to your web browser, log into Microsoft Office 365 from there with your email and uh, password. And if you need any help with that, um, just reach out by uh, clicking, um, sending me a, a DM, like send me a message so then I can um, help you with whatever questions you have about that setup or maybe you talk to your IT person um, because that might be the help that you need okay so let's get started with this OneDrive so it does give us a little bit of a tour it talks about the fact that it can sync our photos for us automatically I love this feature I have it so that any photo I take on my phone it literally puts it on OneDrive as well for me so I'm gonna just get in here it is going to tell us what it can do for us if we want to pay for Office uh, 365. So this is the personal version. There are other versions as well. Um, there is a business version. There's more than one business version. I'll let you Google and see what the differences are or you can contact me later or contact your IT person later about the differences. Um, so again, I just wanted to start us off on a free note. Okay, so I'm going to close that. So haven't changed a thing, just logged in here for the very first time. And you see, um, as I'm looking at this on the web, I have on the left side, it says my files. It shows me recent stuff that I might have looked at. Of course, nothing's there because I've just opened this. It shows a separate place for all the photos that I could sync with my phone or I could upload in here if I want to. And then it shows anything that was shared with me. So with OneDrive, I can share files. Um, I can share my files with somebody else and other people can share their files with me. So shared will actually show me both of those options. It'll show what has somebody shared with me and what have I shared with other people. So we get kind of two options. And recycle bin, um, the, of course you always have that option that um, you can delete something but it's not gone forever. So you do have a recycle bin where you can get it back from. So let's go back up to my files and in my files I want you to see at the top here I mean we have a couple of areas here that it's just giving us some extra information it's saying that we can upload stuff so upload stuff is how you're going to get stuff onto your OneDrive um, and so let's be very clear here OneDrive is the reason it's one is because it's meant for one person and it's your place to to save your information in the cloud um, so that you can then access it from anywhere at any time uh, of course assuming you remember your your login and your password and so that means you can have it on your phone on your tablet on your work computer on your home computer um, just as long as you know your logins and you've logged in once it'll help you remember you can have it remember it for you um, but um, that option is for you to access your files, your photos, your information um, for yourself. So one drive, one person. Um, and again, I said you can you can share it with other people. That is your option. Um, but uh, sharing isn't automatic. Nobody can see anything in your OneDrive unless you're sharing with them. OK, so we have that option of uploading. So anything that I have currently on my computer, I might want to upload. So I'm going to do that in a few minutes. And then, of course, I've got the option of uh, looking at 
uh, getting the app for my mobile device. I can just search my app store to get it on my mobile device. So you might want to do that once you get into OneDrive. And then there is a, an actual setup for OneDrive on your PC. And what this is a good idea to do, if you click on that desktop button like I've just done here, it says set up now. Um, I'm not gonna do it because I actually have OneDrive already set up on my computer, but set up now means that it will start, it'll put the folders that I have on my OneDrive in the cloud on my computer. So let's say I have no internet connection for some reason. Um, and this, this can be, again, uh, on my laptop or on my mobile device of any kind. Um, I have OneDrive set up. And if I have it set up on that device, that means if there's no internet, I can still access those files. And then as soon as the internet, um, as soon as I get internet again, then it syncs those files with the internet okay so just so we're so we're clear here um, that the, I think the big reason people are scared of the cloud or maybe are unsure of it is that they're worried about uh, well they're worried about a couple things um, but one of them is that if what if I don't have access to the internet um, that's okay as long as you're using this option where you have the desktop set up now that means that anything that you um, have set up on your desktop is really syncing with the, your OneDrive on the cloud um, whenever there's internet connections. And when there isn't, it just keeps it wherever, wherever you are on whatever machine you're on, device you're on, and then it'll sync with it after, okay? So hopefully that is clear for you. And then another option here is share. So I could look at a file that I have on my OneDrive and then share it with somebody else. And it'll just want an email address for me to fill in there. And um, with that email address, I can say whether I want that person to be able to edit that file or only view it. So that's kind of cool because then I give I have the option of protecting my files in a way. So, so, that, so that's kind of a, an important little bar at the top here that you want to pay attention to and maybe utilize right away. So let's just show you with the documents. If I click on the documents folder, nothing in here. Um, I'm going to want you to go to the new button at the top here. Um, and as you see, I can create a new folder. So definitely suggest that you create your folder so you can organize your files just as you would on any other device. Uh, so let's just do, I'm going to do a folder here. I'm just going to call it admin. And that creates one folder for me in my documents area. I'm going to go back up to new again, and it does give me the option of doing a new Word document, Excel, and so on. So again, I don't have to be on I don't have to be on Word or Excel on my computer. I can do, actually be on Word or Excel on my on the on the web or on the in my, through my internet browser, and that's the web based portion of that program. And so that will then um, save to my OneDrive. And of course, it'll be accessible to me on my desktop and I can open it up with my desktop apps as well. But this, when I choose it here, um, new Word document here, it would actually open up as a Word document on the web. All right, so I'm gonna go into my admin folder here and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna upload or copy in um, a file. And so actually, I'm just gonna grab from a file that I already have ready here. And I am just going to drag it here. So on this one, I'm dragging is uh, a PDF. So I could have chose uh, upload, and then if I choose upload, files or folders, I have those options. It shows me all of my my files that I have access to. Right now it's just in my downloads folder. Okay, so that's one of my options there. Okay, and then once I have a file uh, available to me, this is where if I'm on this file, I can choose to share this file with somebody else. And that's where you're seeing, can they edit? And if I click on that, I can turn editing off. I can even put an expiration date in there and I can put a password in there so that they have to know that password. So another thing, um, if someone's sharing files with me, I probably want to use the download um, possibly to put it onto my, uh, in, maybe into the folder of my choosing on my computer. And, and then maybe it's syncing back to my OneDrive because of that folder is already syncing. So I can download something onto my computer is what that download is. 
Okay, so this is just a quick little tour for you. I wanted to just get you started with OneDrive. Um, as I say, I have uh, two more lessons for you about Microsoft Cloud and you really should be a part of those other lessons because OneDrive is meant only for one person, for you. You can share stuff. Um, it's one at a time that you're sharing. It's a bit more work to share. Um, so I really need you to come and join me again and check out Teams and check out SharePoint and even a little bit about OneNote in my future lessons. And um, I'll post in this group and in the mission page the time um, for that next lesson. Um, it probably it might be later today, it might be tomorrow. I just gotta kind of see where things are at. So, so thanks for joining me and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Take care, bye-bye.